Hey guys, Team Pokemon here. In today's video, we're shiny hunting an adventure week yet again in Pokemon Go. And we got ourselves a daily instance to start the video. Plus, we have Drooper Spotlight Hour today. We have so much going down and hopefully gonna get some awesome shinies. That's the plan, especially because yesterday was a little bit rough on the shinies. I can't lie to you guys. But first spot on the daily is going to be a Whismur, which isn't shiny. We'll take it though. It's 420. Okay. But let me know in the comments down below, how is your adventure week going? And when you're watching this video, tomorrow is the official start of the rocket takeover, which I'm super excited about. I cannot wait for the brand new shiny shadows and just so much more coming to the game. We're going to have to see what comes to the game but hopefully some awesome stuff. And there's also gonna be shiny uh, shadow crando, sorry, raids specifically, which are pretty useful. So I'm pretty excited for the part two portion of this event. We'll see how it goes. And we have Shadow Lugia this weekend. We're gonna be going crazy for that, doing so many raids for it. We have a raid train plan starting at like six, seven o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go ham, but we got ourselves a Venipede. It's not shoddy. And now we got ourselves two five kegs, but those aren't too important because what they bring is what's important. We got three hatch and egg tasks. So first two eggs though are going to be double scroll up we'll just see if one of them is a hundo nope none of them are over 600 so got to buy your butts we got ourselves three hatch and egg tasks so these are shiny boosted we got a 571 or more we did get a hundo one of those yesterday from an egg then we got a shield on that is a shiny we got one more task come on be a shiny no, it's a shield on that is it's shiny, not a hundred. You're looking for 381. Now we did mention the shadow part of this event is coming very, very soon. And we got ourselves a quick shadow drowsy raid. So maybe we'll pick up our first ever shiny shadow drowsy. I mean, that'd be absolutely amazing. I've been on the hunt for this thing for a while. I've had a few polywags from these raids, a few sneezles, but never a drowsy until maybe the next one. And now we got ourselves a quick Moltres raid. It's been back since the weekend, but we, you know, focus on Rayquaza makes sense but i would love to pick up some more shiny moltres as well this one is not that this one's a 1923 pretty good about you and now we got ourselves a quick explore two kilometer task and it could be a shiny cranido specifically that's the one i'm looking for a good iv one and this one has got a you. i'm not even gonna lie to you but ammonite next not shiny and now we got ourselves a quick clifford check now i wonder what cliff is gonna have next rotation but uh it's got saw dude for right now we're gonna miss saw dude for sure but let's see if we get one more on one of the final days to go ahead and try to get it so we're trying to get one more before it goes maybe even another shadow shadow hundo that'd be insane but we got a 12 keg which will eventually try to hatch for a shiny sand owl but let's see a shiny shadow saw dude now 431 Got about you. And here we go, seven event eggs plus three event tasks. So let's see if one of them gives us a shoddy. We got ourselves an arch and egg number one, followed up by an Amora. I have a feeling Tyrant's next. Okay, the next one is gonna be a shoddy Tyrant. That's my feeling, boom. Now, okay, a bunch of Amoras. We did hatch a hundo one of those yesterday. And again, my main goal for the rest of this event is try to get a good IV shiny Cranidos because I really want one of those. You know, it's one of my favorite shiny fossils ever. So if we could do that, that'd be amazing. We got another Amora that is not quite shiny. Oh, good. We'll go through these IVs though. See if anything else wants to be a hundo. Unfortunately not. And then we got ourselves three tasks though. So let's see if one of those is lucky. We got ourselves a shield on that isn't shiny. We've had a few of those this event, especially on day one. But then we got ourselves a Tortuga, a great look at shiny haven't got any of those this event though and the third task is another dawn not shiny now we got another moltres raid this one coming from the boy patty and let's see if patty gets me you know a burnt chicken nugget whatever you want to call it hot cheeto bird so let's go and see a shiny moltres uh, not quite and another Moltres goes down to a bunch of rock types, and let's see if it turns out to be a shiny. Now, of course, this Moltres is a great looking shiny. It's my team's bird team, Valor, but we'd love to get another one while it's here, right? Boom! Well, I say another one. I haven't got one yet, so hopefully that happens soon. And now we got ourselves three quick explore two kilometer tasks. So let's see if one of them turns out to be a shiny. It could be Cranidos, Tyrant, and it could be also an Archon. That is a shiny. I was going to say Archon and then it decided to pop up. Nice. But the third task is going to be another Archon. That isn't shiny, but 770. It's a little up there, but not the hundo. And now we got ourselves a nice spatial rend cluster. Let's see if we get ourselves a shiny because we're still shiny list on the day, but it's 130. So I'm hoping that something pops up soon. It's been, you know, a long grind. It's been kind of like rinse and repeat of my grind starting off a little bit slow each day. Hopefully stream provides and we have a spotlight hour later today. So hopefully we'll get a shiny drober or I was going to say get one nice and early. But hey, we got ourselves a nice, a decent amount of spawns right here. We'll see if something decides to shine. And again, we got ourselves a big stream starting in about 30 minutes. We're going to do a huge stream all the way through spotlight hour. And hopefully we'll get at least one shiny, right? Or maybe we get one beforehand. We've got a Wimpod that is a level one, but it's not a shiny level one. And we got ourselves a Diglett over there that doesn't have a blue nose. And we got ourselves a Pidgey back there and the Omnite. We'll check those two as those are the only two missing. 
and they're both not a shiny. Now we got ourselves some eggs coming up. We also got ourselves a nice little cluster here. So let's check it, see if we got ourselves a shiny because uh, we're still shinyless on the day. We've been unfortunately, you know, going through a little bit of a rough time hunting in this event. I don't know what's going on sometimes, but hey, at the end of the day, as long as I get one, I'm happy. We'll go and see if we got ourselves a nominate right here. Cause I think on the first day I got a nominate literally in this exact spot. So it would have worked out pretty perfectly, but let's see if we got a shiny coughing, which we've actually had one of those this event. We got ourselves a couple other mods around that we'll go ahead and check. And again, number one goal, find a shiny at some point maybe in spotlight hour maybe post i don't know we got to get ourselves a shine to keep the shiny streak alive that's number one we got an aerodactyl right there that is a shiny that, that that's one i want to see a lot because it is a boosted shiny in this event and actually the only boosted shiny in the wild now in research of course in the eggs you got yourself a lot more boosted shinies but those are locked behind research and eggs, you know what I mean? But yeah, we also got ourselves, like I said, eggs that are less than a kilometer away. So we'll get to those very, very soon. We also got ourselves a Psyduck that is not a blue duck. All good, I do love that shiny, but unfortunately decided not to shine here during Adventure Rico. All good, we got ourselves a Vulpix and a pair of Poliwag, which we already checked one, but is the second shiny? No, and then we'll check one more real quick with the Meowth. Not right. And now we got ourselves eight more event 7K eggs. And let's see if we get lucky and get a shiny this time around as the first batch wasn't so clean to us, but or nice to us. And hopefully this one is a little bit better. No, that's another non shiny origin. All good again. We're looking for a good IV shiny created dose or just really any shiny right we'll go ahead and take that but we got another archon okay we found the archon batch clearly maybe one of them will be a hundo and maybe one of them will be a shunda now okay that's a cranidos obviously no shiny just yet but another cranidos hey we'll take all the cranidos i still need a hundo one of those so we'll quickly run through these ibs uh, i don't know why i went to the token people let's go ahead and see the rest we had honestly Nothing good at all. Okay, that's a little bit painful. It is what it is. We got a hatch and egg test. There's going to be a dawn. That is not a shiny dawn. All good. We got ourselves a 381 for that hundo. That was a 371. So, almost there, but not quite. So, I'll give you a number between 1 and 12 and 25. Oh, shiny aerodactyl. I'll give you a, a 10. Wait, no. You said 12 and 25. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to give you 15, but also shiny aerodactyl. Imagine this is number 15 in my account. That'd be interesting. But 1, 2... Three, shiny streak of 2024 stays alive. And we love a good old shiny aerodactyl. Imagine a shundo. Bam. Not quite. But how many shot? Oh, back to back? No. We do love a shiny aerodactyl though. You in a car? No. How many shiny aerodactyls do I have? 22. Okay, just over 15. Kabuto. Oh, oh, huge shiny Kabuto. Oh my God. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, that is real nice. I feel like I haven't seen a full shot in the wild in a little bit. And a huge shiny Kabuto was well worth the wait. Oh my god. XXL shiny Kabuto. Let's get some dubs in the chat. Or if you're if you're more of a lefty, you could do the Pokeball as well. I I do the bear. Oh, shiny dropper. Let's go. Level one, two. No, 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 no running. No running. I threw the ball already. <laughs> Wolverine tried to run from it. We got a level one shiny dropper. Let's go. At least it wasn't incense anyways, but it would have been a, a mess to find it in the bunch. <laughs> Four minutes in and we got the shiny. Bam. Got a Baggio, but it's okay. We're one shiny in already. I'm feeling good. We started fast. And now we're back home. We had a great time on stream. And apparently after stream as well, I was going through my account, I literally just did some transfers, caught some how it spawns, and uh, apparently we have a level one hundo Bunnelby in here, which I mean, you just love to see a level one hundo, literally 10 CP. I only have a couple level one hundos. Let me see, actually, 10 to 15 CP and four star, we have three of them. And actually there's one of them that I did evolve. It was a Mudkip, which I evolved because I mean, I love Mudkip, wanted to max it out for Swamper for the Mega Evolution, so that is a thing as well. I did 15 CP Hundo Mudkip from, uh, you know, the Classic Com Day a few years back, but three level one Hundos, and that Bonobi gets added to the collection. We also got this guy, which is one of my favorite Hundos in my collection, the Spiel, but hey, love to see it. Level one Hundo with the Bonobi stuff you love to see. And now it's time to wrap up today's video, and I can't lie to you guys. I thought I recorded in the outro when I did it. So apparently we we didn't do that. So we'll go ahead and go over what we got today because we actually popped off with the shinies, especially a huge shiny Kabuto. Super stoked about that one. Was not expecting to get that. So to be able to pick that up, 
Definitely love to see it. But we also got ourselves a shiny Aerodactyl and shiny Drober level one in the spotlight hour. Stuff you love to see. And we even did a trade with Wolverine and got a tiny Buzzwool with it. So stuff you absolutely love to see, right? We did pretty well overall. And I have some pretty, pretty exciting news. And actually, first, let's show off the hundo we got today as well. Because we got a hundo Bunnelby. We love it. It was a level one. Don't even know when I caught it, but we got it at some point. But we have some pretty exciting news as we officially got the confirmation for the Shiny Shadows, the brand new Shiny Shadows, and the calm day for August. Now, the, the full news will come out for the August calm day in a couple hours for like, you know, the dust, if it's three times dust or XP, but it is Beldum, which is huge because Beldum is a great Pokemon. It is such a useful Pokemon. Meteor Mash, I mean, it's a very important one. So if you have any Shadow Beldums, make sure to take off Frustration now during the Team Rocket event that's about to start. You know, just make sure to take advantage of that because you'll be able to evolve them with Meteor Mash in like literally two weeks, which is absolutely amazing. So Beldum officially come into the game, which you love to see, well, as a classic calm day. And the brand new Shiny Shadows are Carvana for Sierra, so that's a returning one. Anorith for, I believe, our Arlo, hold on, let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, Anorith for Arlo and then Leap for Cliff. So we get two shadows, uh, two, sorry, fossil mons and Carvana. So three do, uh, three shiny shadows. I'm not gonna lie, super excited to hunt Carvana as I don't have that one and I don't have the other two, so I'll be ready to hunt those as well. But make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon, Pokemon adventure. Oh, peace.